Spencer, and in today's video, we are finally back after two or three weeks of just a little break. And most of that time was me looking for a candidate for the fire truck build to rob suspension parts off of, control arms, axle maybe even if we're lucky, and brakes if we're lucky. <laughs> and I've literally been striking out so hard but I finally found a donor quad that looks like it should work. Maybe use a couple things here and there, but it looks like it should be a uh, decent candidate for the fire truck build. So we're gonna go check that out right now. But first I'm just gonna go run to the bank, pick up some cash, and then uh, we should be on our way. It is starting to uh, rain a little bit. So hopefully it's not downpouring by the time we get there, cause it is kind of a far drive. Definitely not too bad, but really hoping that this thing checks out. I mean, it looks super clean, like there's no rust on it at all, so that's good. Real quick before we get into today's video, I wanna give a massive shout out to today's sponsor, Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is the wallet redefined. It's light, sleek, and industrial, and it doesn't fold up or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, kinda like I was, carrying old receipts and gift cards. Why have we moved on from large flip phones and cell phones to the iPhone, but still carry around the same wallet? And the Ridge Wallet has a ton of features. It can hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There are over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium, like the one I'm showing you guys today. I have been using mine for a little over a month now, and I really, really love it. But don't take my word for it. Listen to the over 30,000 five-star reviews. And what's even better is that each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it to life thanks to their durable materials. And the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days and you could send it back for full refunds if you don't love it. And the Ridge wallet hooked you guys up with a little discount code. Use code MIX for a discount on your order. Details will be in the description and the comments section. But this burnt titanium is really, really sick looking. I mean, fully loaded, it is still smaller than an empty old wallet. I mean, it's even got RFID blocking technology, which is really nice and provides a nice security for me that, you know, I don't have to worry about really getting digitally pickpocketed, which seems to be happening more and more nowadays. But like I said before, definitely check out their products. The link will be down in the description, but shout out to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the video. but that's actually really good so we're gonna go head back now and uh, we'll unload it and I guess we'll show you guys all right we made it and the quad's still on there just gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, all loaded out and uh, well, I'll show you guys if it's not too dark if it's not then I'll just show you guys tomorrow So guys, we are back here the next day. Got a little bit too dark out last night. But here is the quad that we are gonna be using parts off of to uh, make this fire truck happen. So it's definitely bigger than I thought. On camera, it looks really small. Like it looks really small camera, but this thing is probably bigger than my Yamaha Breeze, that's for sure. And this thing is super clean. I mean, there is like little to no rust on any of the components that we need for the fire truck. I mean, this thing seriously has it all. It's got hydraulic rear brakes that work really, really good. We rolled it and hit it and that thing stopped real quick. Uh, it's got front drum brakes, which we'll see about those. But basically the components that we're going to be using for this thing, as of right now, 100% are the upper and lower control arms and the suspension components. I'm going to see if I can find aftermarket, uh, you know, like shocks and springs for this thing that are a little bit stiffer. I mean, they, these ones are pretty pretty stiff but this thing is gonna be pretty heavy so definitely don't want it to be like completely compressed as soon as this thing is like put together and put on the ground so i'm gonna see what i can find if i could get some uh if i could get some stiffer ones but probably gonna be using the steering linkage and everything like that and probably this rear axle now it's kind of hard for me to explain basically how this is going to be done without actually doing it not very good at explaining it 
but I do want to hit the drawing boards before I really finalize everything. But who knows, this could be one of many, you know, donor quads that we are going to find. Honestly, for the price of this, I tried looking for just, just these components online, and just those were more expensive than this whole thing. So if we have to go out and get some more, then that's not an issue. But one thing I didn't want to do is get a perfectly good quad and just take it apart. I hate doing that. And I hate like killing things basically if it's a perfectly good thing. But honestly, the frame on this thing is in such good shape that I'm sure I actually might be even be able to sometime down the road if I decide to do some type of quad build. I could honestly probably use the frame for something so this thing, you know, doesn't get killed off or nothing like that. It can give parts to give the fire truck a life, and then this thing could get parts to be a really sick quad maybe sometime down the road. But just for kind of like a size reference, the handlebars are right here, like a little bit above my waist. I'm not a tall person, but just on camera, it looks super small, but <laughs> this thing's pretty large. But one of my biggest worries is, you know, obviously this thing's going to be heavy, is like, you know, making sure that all these components weren't completely rusted out so it doesn't like bend or anything like that, which I don't think it will. But if I have to, I'll maybe uh, do some type of reinforcement to kind of keep all of this uh, really stiff. So basically what's gonna be up next for this thing is adding supports that my teacher told me to ask. So if you're watching this, thank you for letting me know, but I need to add supports to the cross members with some really thick plate, like thicker than the cross member material to strengthen the whole thing. So when it's put under weight, it doesn't crack. And then I'm probably going to do something similar when I end up putting the tabs on and everything for the control arms. I'm probably going to add a whole plate to the side of it and then put the tabs onto that. So it's not going directly onto the frame. It's going onto the plate. And then we'll make all of it removable if we have to sometime down the road for servicing and stuff like that. So I know it's definitely a little bit hard to see right now, but I see the picture in my head. Usually when I do that, I could always execute. I know we've been a little bit quiet lately on the channel, uh, just wrapping up my first semester in college. So I just want to make sure all of that work was done because obviously I got to get that done with. But And it's also been raining like crazy here. And I've luckily had this thing wrapped up and off that. Really, the only thing it's really got is a little bit of surface rust that would just come off with sandpaper. But other than that, it's definitely held up pretty nicely. I put a jack stand underneath it so it's on the ground and, you know, the moisture from the ground doesn't get it all rusted up or everything like that. But thank you guys for your patience and everything. I know some of you guys were asking where I've been, but now that we finally found this parts quad and it's looking like clear weather, cold weather, but clear weather for the uh, next week or so, we can definitely start getting to back to work on this thing and get this thing possibly as a rolling chassis sometime soon. Then things will really start to get exciting. But anyway, guys, with that being said, just a short little video here, a little update and, you know, picking up this cool little thing for the fire truck. I also am going to be looking at some places to get the Corvette painted, trying to get some quotes and everything and try and get that done because the Corvette has been made. I've been driving it around. Mechanically, it is amazing. But cosmetically, she's pretty ugly. So we got to get that done. But with that being said, follow my social medias. So they'll be on the outro of this video, Instagram and Snapchat I use the most. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share friends with the channel.